Hello everybody, um, my latest installment of Still Life projects uh, then involve uh, translucent materials like glass. So this next one is a mug of root beer. Um, so in terms of uh, the penciling, it is very very simple shape. Uh, a mug of uh, root beer, you, know, you can start off with a rectangle and then round off the edges and stuff and then um, you know, work in uh, the handle. Uh, after that, I have the, the, the froth uh, of the root beer uh, overflowing uh, the edge uh, of the cup, just to give it a little bit more interest uh, and a little bit of movement in your drawing. To, um, after that, it's just uh, studying what root beer really looks like, what shades uh, can be used. Uh, I'm using the shades of uh, brown, a little bit of orange, um, and I'm putting in uh, the dimples of the um, glass on the side of the mug just to give it a little bit of a three-dimensional feel. And to make it uh, the liquid translucent and the glass translucent, uh, it is just playing with light and shadow and making sure uh, that you layer some of your uh, colors. Uh, start off with light, obviously, and then work your way to dark. I used uh, just the, the light of the paper, then a little bit of light beige, and then I uh, used uh, water um, just to make the paint a little bit thicker. Uh, sometimes I used a little bit of blue uh, to mix in with the brown to make it darker. Uh, and then after that, uh, to have that medium shade, I used a little bit of orange uh, mixed in with the brown uh, to have a really nice uh, mixture of browns uh, and uh, tones. Uh, after that, uh, the see-through glass, I'm using a little bit of gray, a little bit of blue uh, to uh, give that um, a thickness of the, uh, the darkness of the glass at the base of the mug and the handle. And uh, the uh, froth of the root beer uh, is just almost white like the paper and then a little bit of beige uh, to add a little bit of dimension and a little bit of light shadow. And after all my paint is uh, dry, I actually got um, my ink pen out. Uh, has to be permanent ink uh, to be able to uh, layer on uh, watercolor. And I um, just did that just to add a little bit of three-dimensional feel, a little bit of uh, 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 hatching uh, with the pen uh, to give the uh, glass a little bit of dimension. As you can see, I uh, put in some light and shadow, some very, very dark lines. I used a really, really dark blue uh, to get in the dimension of the blown glass of the mug. Uh, those little arches uh, that you see on really, really thick glass uh, of beer steins. And then I put in a little bit of light and shadow below uh, the froth that is uh, overflowing the edge of the glass. And that'll give that three-dimensional feel uh, to uh, the liquid uh, as it um, uh, spills out of the glass. After that I'm adding a little bit of orange, a little bit of medium tones uh, just to have that depth uh, of the liquid. And then I am sprinkling a little bit um, uh, of liquid with uh, the edge of my brush uh, just to give a little bit of texture. And from the distance that really makes everything pop out a little bit. Uh, and then after that, put in a little bit of a, a counter uh, for the bottom of the mug to make it look like it's sitting on a counter uh, and a little bit of a background uh, to have it pop out and give it a little bit of life so it's not looking like it's uh, floating in midair on your paper. Uh, as you see, I've got my ink pen out uh, right now, putting in that light and shadow, uh, and that really makes that handle uh, of the mug uh, stand out, make it look like it's round and three-dimensional. Uh, then after that, a little bit of cross-hatching on top of your paint, uh, just to add even more three-dimensional feel to uh, the texturing of the paint. So have fun with this. Um, it is great little still life projects. I've done at least three more before this on the channel. Uh, just go to the channel and look like uh, look at what's uh, in order. I did a wine glass, a beer glass, and now a root beer. Uh, and after that, I think coffee and teacups are going to come up next. So keep safe.
and keep creating.